So you want to become a sorcerer, but perhaps you don't know how to go about doing it. Well, this video today will teach you how to become the sorcerer of your dreams and engage in the dark magic. My name's Cara on Fire and welcome to Canon Excels. Today I'm going to teach you how to be a sorcerer. And the organic way to start it would be going to kill your own kind. Go kill other sorcerers because they may drop a map with the location where you need to go. However, I'm going to skip ahead and just show you where that is because it's way easier and you will miss out an entire step there and you won't have to do it. However, if you do want to find the map organically, just go and kill loads of sorcerers. They will drop a dead sorcerer's map. Your first step is to come to Shale Back Hollow on the map. It is a cave in the south. It's very, very south, easy to find. If you're on Sipta, it's a different location. I'll show you in just a bit, but it's a cave right here on the map below the unnamed city. On Sipta, this location is at River Watch Keep, just below the bridge by the water. You're going to see a cave there. Now I'm going to tell you getting to Sipta's sorcery cave is way easier because it's not filled with corrupt shale back. When you come in here normally, it's full of these guys. Of course, it's called Shaleback Hollow, so it's going to be. Um, but you can just try running past a lot of them, I suppose, and that's what I'm going to do right now. Uh, because you can dodge out the way of them. <laughs> just be uh, careful with your stamina, because they're going to want to come for you and grab you and do that big thumpy attack, which is actually going to hurt if they catch you out with it. So we're going to go through this area and we're going to come out into this lovely sorcery cave. We're going to go up a bridge and we will arrive at our destination. Now, if you have shale back following you, they will actually stop at the bottom of the bridge. Uh, so you won't have a problem there. But anyway, you want to come here and you want to click E on this book. It will give you basic sorcery and your first couple of magics. Now, if you want for extra resources in this cave, go to the back of there. You can actually jump down into the water down there, climb up the waterfall, and there's loads of chests at the back of that area right there. Just a little tip for you guys. But pretty much once you've done this, you can just go back out the cave. Now you have your first staff, which is going to allow you to cast magic. You have burlap pouches, which you need for certain spells. And you also have your tome, which you want to hold on to dearly because this is going to be your spell book. Once you've made your way out of the cave, you're now going to have a look in your knowledge tab and there is actually a sorcery tab. You can see your basic sorcery in here, which is your staff, your detect corruption ice bridge, all the pouches and the former Turgy bench. This is where we start with sorcery. And there you go, you can see both of your spells. So we're going to start with former Turgy bench. You want to actually build this, so you're going to need a construction hammer and then to open the construction menu and go to crafting stations. At the moment, I only have the former Turgy Bench learnt as a crafting station, so it's not selectable on the sorcery tab here. But if you learnt multiple things, then you can select it on the sorcery tab here. So for this, I'm going to need 300 stone, 50 crystal and 50 iron bars to build it. And once I have that in my inventory, I can go ahead and place this bench. Once you have the bench down, you can access it now and you can see your first lot of ingredients. You can remake your staff if you lose it, which is good. And you can also do your illusion in here as well if you want, which is pretty cool. Now for the tome, put in your own tome because basically how this works is you upgrade over time. So this is a game of upgrading the book to get better books. <laughs> it's a book upgraded game, yes. But you're actually going to need a sorcerer's spell page. Now, to get these, you need to go and kill other sorcerers. Now, sorcerers are all over existing current spots and camps on the map. I found most of them down south, though, on the Exiles Lands map. They're all over Sipta as well. So if you just go around exploring common areas that you've been to before, you are bound to find one. One of my nearest ones right now is at the drum camp. So I'm actually going to go there to get my sorcerer book. Or you can go to smaller and easier camps. There's actually one, yes, right in this quadrant, just above this little bit of green here, there is a camp there that's really easy to get to. So it's not just big camps, it's small camps as well you can get these from. Now to save time, I'm going here. There's actually a Grave Matters event going on right now. Um, for time's sake, I'm going to turn on Cloak just to get past this, but usually you just need to kill loads of these frills or go to a less frill, you know, fooled camp, and that would be better. So I'm going up here, going up to the right, and you should, should see a sorcerer over here. There we go. 
So you can see a Defari Sorcerer 3. You have a choice. You can either knock this out and tame it, because it's going to give you an ability to make uh, sorcery pages if you do that, or you can kill it for sorcery things. Now, often or not, in sorcery places, there's sorcery scrolls you could pick up for free, the sorcerer spell page, and you could pick up failed ones as well. You want to keep as many of those as you can because you're going to really need those very, very soon. But for time's sake, this is the guy I want to kill. He is going to give me what I need to be able to do my thing. So I killed him with a nice table leg. And you can see in here, he's given me a failed sorcery spell. And he's given me a Skelos Cultus Master thing, which you can learn for some, you know, sorcery armor. So he's also given me a Leather Satchel as well, which I can use, and that just gave me a map and a Sorcerer Spell page, which is what we wanted. So you can see with the map, this is what I was talking about in the beginning, it shows you where to go on either Exiled Lands or Sipta for the actual cave. But because we know where that is, we don't need it anymore. Anyway, Sorcerer's Spell Page. Let's go back to the Formaturgy Bench. Okay, I'm back at my bench and I have myself a stone, a putrid meat and a spell page. Now I can upgrade my tome to the next level. So I'm going to head and go and do that. You're going to see me doing the magic. The bench is like an RGB table. It's going to light up for every spell you do. And I learnt Blood Rite, Soul Drain and both Wisp spells with this book. So happy days. And if I go into my knowledge tab now, and I go into sorcery, you're going to see I can drain blood with a sacrificial stone. And I can also drain souls now. This is the first station you're going to need to work with. I can also do both of the wisp powers, which means I'm going to have a light that follows me around or a light that is stationary. You're going to see if I click on this again, I'm going to get a new load of things I need to be able to do my next upgrade. So. It will go on and on and on. You'll need to keep upgrading this book to get more spells. So I'll need more sorcery pages to make more of these spells and upgrade my book. Now the other option I was talking about earlier with taming, you can tame some. If you do tame them, this is a T1, it will give you a recipe for research. You can either combine 10 of your failed sorcery spells into one sorcerer spell page, or you can make a sorcerer spell page with blood, inking brushes, and a papyrus scroll. And that will make one sorcerer spell page. So if you don't want to kill sorcerers for them, you can just make them instead. Now, if you actually want to craft every single book as it is currently in the game to get every skill, this is the entire item list you're going to need. So you're going to need five sacrificial blood, 21 skulls, five soul essence, 75 demon blood, 50 blood, 20 dragon horns, you're going to want your tome, you want 15 alchemic base, you want 20 brimstone, 100 black blood, which you can get from the caves of Jill. This will probably be one of the harder ones to get, so do get that before uh, this comes live if you're on a long term server. You need human flesh, feral flesh, 5 fragments of power, 10 dragon bone powder, 15 volatile glands, 1 putrid meat, 1 savory flesh, 10 glowing goop. 10 grey lotus powder, 1 stone, and 5 feathers. With all these ingredients, you can craft every single book that exists. So if you want the entire ingredients list, this is what you need. Now with all of that out of the way, I can just go ahead and start learning. Oh, you also need 20 of these sorcerer spell pages to do this. So you're going to need a lot of them. So make sure you stock up on those when this does come out. You can't pre-ready for those, unfortunately, unless you just make a load of uh, inking brushes and papyrus, I suppose, if you want to do it that way. But let's start upgrading our book. With our second tier, we just learnt Slow Fall, so that is our way to do Feather Falling. And you're going to see your new skill is here. So that's another thing I have now learnt on my wand. So if you were to get your wand out and try and cast a spell, it's going to show me what I currently have learnt. And I believe the feather falling is on the, yeah, this side. Yeah, there we go. That's what we want for the feather falling. I'm not going to do it right now, but let's learn some more skills and stuff via this bench. We're going to go for our third upgrade now. Let's go ahead and learn it on our RGB table. And with this, we get access to Abyssal Horse Mount and the Rhino. 
Now with this, it gives us access to our newest bench, which is going to be the Circle of Power, which is a really cool bench, I can highly recommend it. That will enable you to make both mounts if you would like. And our next skill is also going to learn something for one of those. So we spend our next slot in our RGB table. And that gives us the Wall of Fire spell. It's basically a big lumpy mound barrier of fire you can use. It's another magical spell you can have. And that teaches us the Creeping Darkness spell, which you probably have seen quite a lot by now if you've watched any of the streams. It's this big darkness spell that spawns crippling spider webs inside of it. But let's keep going with this. We need to see what our next spells do. And we get Mass Coal and Detect Resources, two new spells with this next one. So you're actually learning a lot of magic in the beginning, which is really good. Let's continue. Our next one allows us to summon corpses. I believe this one leads us to our next bench we can unlock in the sorcery tab. Oh no, that's the circle of power one again. There we go. So if you want the circle of power, summon corpse. This is how you revive, like if you die out in the middle of nowhere, you can actually revive all of your stuff for a little cost in the circle of power. And that's how that one works. And this one gives us call of the dead and raise the dead. So this is what I was thinking of earlier when I preemptively went in here. So this gives you your shallow grave. That's your next crafting station that you can make. I'll show all uh, of the crafting costs in a little bit. But let's just get through these uh, book upgrades first. And we get the mirror, invisibility and conceal corruption. So if you don't like the way you look with max corruption, you can now get rid of that look if you so wish, if you don't like the look of it. So some really good stuff. And we shall now move on to our next one. Elixir of Rebirth. This is what you need if you want to re-roll all of the perks you have on a thrall. And you can do this unlimited. You just need to craft the potion every time you want to do it. So it's really, really good one to get this one. Our next one gives us the Call of Nurgle and the Abyssal Call. So if you want to fly with the bat, that's what the Call, the call of Nurgle is. And the Abyssal Call, if I remember right, is something for the Circle of Power again. Let's just double check that. Yes, it is. It is the monkey demon you can spawn at the circle of power. We're getting short on our list now because we're going to be coming to the transport, the, the transportery stone, which is your end of the spell book, which is actually you need to learn several of these for each teleport place. This next one is the abyssal bow and maul. So it's a really strong bow and maul you can build at the circle of power. Yep, we go into the Black Blood now. This is when it starts getting a little pricey because that Black Blood is pretty expensive. Craft it away. And I got my Abyssal Armor I can now summon also. Going into the 30 Black Blood and now Fragments of Power. It's getting even more tricky to get these resources to learn better things. Lightning Storm is a pretty strong spell though, so it's absolutely worth it. I will apologise because earlier I forgot to include 100 witch fire powder. It was on the list, but it was not in the inventory. All of these items are hard to keep track of, I know. <laughs> but that's another big one you're going to need for later spells and stuff like that. Now we have our first transportary stone. Now you actually learn about four of these because I believe you can have four per station. So you can have four different locations with one of these in. And the next few books, yeah, they would be those, but apparently we just learned the one. Now in the beta version, they made you do four more spells to actually learn all the transportary stones. But in this one, you don't have to do that. You can just go ahead and learn it in the book. So there we go. That is a fully done Tome of Karak I can now have. I actually don't need to take it out this station to be able to do the sorcery powers. And now if I was to, you know, open my little sorcery you know wand and stuff and do my power and go ahead and do it and it will give me all of my different powers now and these are all different categories with my new spells so really cool stuff also doing all of this uh, spellage is going to give you a bit of corruption also we're going to look at my knowledge tab now and you're going to see all of my sorcery things here so it's really good stuff. You can see what each needs, what station it needs. And then you can see the spells that are the ones in the white symbols. 
and the ones with pictures are the ones that you can make for other things now the alchemy bench is needed for the elixir of rebirth so it's not too bad you don't need a special station for that and if you want to build any of the stations you just go over into crafting stations you can see the circle of power requires these crafting ingredients the sacrificial stone requires an actual torch in it as well as other stuff the shallow grave is just compost and stones we already know about the former turgy bench and then the transportery stone which is the most expensive one out of the all is silver bars alchemic base three torches and 200 bricks now it's actually nice that they're using silver bars in this one because i feel like silver and gold bars can be really underused unless it's used for currency or making actual alchemic base so that's really really good that they're now utilizing it a little more but anyways that is how to be a fully fledged sorcerer in 3.0 just keep upgrading your spell book and you will learn more spells and learn more stations and be able to progress in the game but anyway that is all from me today thank you for watching i love you and i'll see you in the next one Bye bye